making predictions using probability. Theoretical and experimental probability can be used to make predictions. The type of probability you will use depends on the question. Mason rolls a number cube 78 times. How many times can he expect to roll an odd number greater than 1? Here, no experiment has been conducted. So Mason's going to have to use theoretical probability to come up with his prediction. The sample space for a number cube is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we need to find the probability of an odd greater than 1. Well, the odd numbers are 1, 3, and 5. So greater than 1 would just be the 3 and the 5. So that's going to happen 2 out of 6 ways, which simplifies to 1 third. Now we're going to take this and make a proportion. 1 third, you're going to get the odd number greater than 1, one time, and 3 represents the total number of tosses. So here, 78 is our total number of tosses. We're going to line that up in the denominator. And x is going to go in our numerator because that represents the number of times that's going to happen. So solve your proportion. 3x equals 78. So Mason can expect to get an odd number greater than 1 26 times. Now again, that's what should happen. He actually tosses the number cube 78 times, that may not be what necessarily happens. If you flip a coin 18 times, how many times would you expect heads to appear? Well, again, this is going to be based on the theoretical probability. So sample space, heads, and tails. So probability of getting heads is 1 out of 2, or half of the time. So if you flip the coin 18 times, again, we can set up a proportion. This one's easy. You probably don't need to. But one time will be heads out of two total tosses. So when you flip 18 times, that also lines up in the denominator, x in the numerator. So you should get heads nine times. If 12 out of 15 people recycle, how many people out of 3,540 would you expect to recycle? 12 out of 15 people has been found out through an experiment. So we're going to use experimental probability here. Same way, start by making that a fraction. 12 out of 15 people. 12 out of the total number of people will recycle. So set up your proportion. And our total here is 3,540. So we'll put that in the denominator. X in the numerator. So 15X equals 42,480. Divide by 15. And we can expect 2,832 people to recycle. A baseball player reaches base 35% of the time. How many times can he expect to reach base in 900 at-bats? Again, this 35% has been based on his experimental probability of making base. So we are going to find percent of a number. Remember, probability is a fraction, so it can be written as a percent. So here, it does not make sense to use a proportion. So he's going to reach base 35% of the time. 35% of 900. Change the percent to a decimal. And of means to multiply. So he will reach base 315 